It came to pass as Elisar read, he was filled with the spirit of the Lord. He was visited and being prepared for his mission. And he read saying, woe, woe unto Jerusalem, for I have seen thine abominations. Yeah, and many things did my father read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed and the inhabitants thereof. Many should perish by the sword and many should be carried away captive into Babylon. And it came to pass that when my father had read and seen many great and marvelous things, he did exclaim many things unto the Lord, such as, Great and marvelous are thy works, O Lord God Almighty. Thy throne is high in the heavens, and thy power and goodness and the mercy are over all the inhabitants of the earth. And because thou art merciful, thou wilt not suffer those who come unto thee that they should perish. And after this manner was the language of my father in the praising of his God. For his soul did rejoice, and his whole heart was filled because of the things which he had seen, yeah, which the Lord had shown unto him. And now I, Nephi, do make a full account of the things which my father has written. For he has written many things which he saw in visions and in dreams. And he had also have written many things which he prophesied and spake unto his children, of which I shall not make a full account. But I shall make an account of my proceedings in my days. Behold, I make an abridgment of the record of my father upon plates which I have made with mine own hands. Wherefore, after I have abridged the record of my father, then will I make an account of my own life. Therefore, I would that you should know that after the Lord has shown so many marvelous things unto my father, Lehi, or Elisa, yeah, concerning the destruction of Jerusalem, behold, he went forth among the people and began to prophesy and to declare unto them concerning the things which he had both seen and heard. And it came to pass that the Jews did mock him because of the things which he testified of them. For he truly testified of their wickedness and their abominations. And he testified that the things which he saw and the things he heard and also the things which he read in the book manifested plainly of the coming of a Messiah and also the redemption of the world. And when the Jews heard these things, they were angry with them. Yeah, even with as with the prophets of old, whom they had cast out and stoned and slain, and they sought his life that they might take it away.